I think that, of course, uh, we have community sites being built. I'm building a few of them. Other people have too. But that's not, that doesn't help. The, that is only one small piece of the onboarding. And again, I know that's so hard to see for people who've been in this ecosystem. They know how to do, they know how to click all the buttons are fast. They, they get it really quickly. But for new people coming in, there is an obvious change in, in from them going to hex.com and then saying, okay, I want to stake and stuff. Let's go to go to hex.com and then getting that experience versus they go to hex.com. Okay, cool. I got it. I'm going to go stake it. They go to go to hex.com and it's just a bunch of links and download the desktop. And they're like, if I was a new person, I would, I wouldn't want to do that. I feel like uh, this, if I didn't have literally a friend or someone like walking me through it, I would just be like, no, I'm just going to go, I'm going to go buy Cardonzo. I, I'm just going to like, nobody else does this stuff. Like why, why would I put in an extra effort to get through this? And then you could say, well, they, they don't deserve it. <laughs> they don't, we don't even know if they deserve it or not. Cause we can't even get them to the ecosystem first. So like the whole point of, you know, it's only two, uh, one more click or it's two clicks or whatever it is. My, my response to that is always why, why don't there need to be any more clicks? Why can't we just have like any point of friction, if we can remove it, it should be removed because every every extra click, that is the chance for them to click away, not click into. Like that's just like onboarding, that's just flow, that's just sales. I mean, that's that's the whole process of getting people to do something is make it as simple as possible. So especially, it's not just two more clicks or one more click or whatever it is. It is getting them to a page where they don't understand anything that's going on and and uh, getting them to hopefully make the right decision or spend enough time to even do that. So that's, I was talking on stream yesterday um, about what I would change. So we're looking at the site now. If you scroll up a little bit, uh, I, can, I can talk a little bit more about like what, what, I would, what I hope changes on this because I think it would make the most difference. I think it would be much, much better. And again, like you said, this is this stuff just rolled out. So this is this, the way it's supposed to look at this point. It's only like two days old. So this is the way it's supposed to look. So for nerds, amazing, love it. For anyone else, for onboarding new people, there needs to be one link. If I were gonna do this, I would do, there's one link. None of this stuff is on the page. There's one link that says, launch PulseX. That's it. One link says launch PulseX. And that PulseX link, it pick one of the IPFS links, whatever, DWeb, NFT, NFT storage, three at WS or uh, W3S, whatever, just pick one and make the, that button, the same looking button, make it, go to one of those links. Nobody cares about DWeb link. Nobody cares, but they don't need to know about running from their desktop. If they, and then have another tab. So again, this entire page, keep the, keep the Pulse X, keep the decentralization, robustness, privacy core, all the green stuff. Remove the, from the version number down, remove all of that, put one button that says launch Pulse X with a little up arrow. And then have a little tab, have a tab, have a three, three tab system or whatever. And if you click that and it says advanced or learn more or, nerd options or whatever it is, then once you click that button, it shows you this page and all the people who already know how to do all this stuff, they're happy. And all the people who don't know how to do all this stuff, they don't need to see IPFS hashes, all that stuff. They don't need to see any of that. They just click one button and go. That's how I would do it. That creates the least amount of friction. It still is a landing page, except there's a clear place for people to go. And everyone else familiar in crypto, they are, that already feels good. That, that feels like a thing, right? You go to a page and you click another button and that launches the app. That happens all the time in crypto. So why not here? Why can't we do that? Most frictionless way possible. And I think it will happen, but it hasn't happened yet. Mm -hmm. 100%. I think ideally that, you know, and what I'm kind of realizing is I'm hearing you speak about this and I'm seeing the comments. I think that this is very important to just have a conversation around and to allow all the possible points that everyone can think of to come up because the more we talk about this the more we're going to troubleshoot the more we're going to figure out you know within the community and of course going back to the core if this was from pulsex.com pulsing.com hex.com straight there ideal best case scenario but if it's not we don't know how long this is going to last david brings up an interesting point here and i mean in in his perspective, he said, did this clearly, but we could even just say we, he could have, you know, and you can spec it as much as you want, but just to keep kind of like neutrality here, um, Richard did this clearly because of the SEC, not to have any arguments on him when it comes to expectations. Some guys should do direct site that be operated voluntary on, but not from Richard Hart. And I think that's an interesting thing to think about because obviously, you know, if you're decentralized, the SEC can't come off, come, can't come after something necessarily that is, uh, as decentralized as it can be. So, there's just the the reason I'm bringing that up too is because 
maybe this is temporary, but maybe this is the the way it's going to be in the future. And I think just having this conversation and being able to put everything on the table is going to lead to the solutions, you know, and maybe right now there's a problem, right? Cause that's what's why we're here. That's why we're talking about it. That's why we're, um, we're streaming right now. That's why everyone's in the chat making comments about, you know, what they think is best and we're going to get there, you know, and here's the thing too. Yes, we need to onboard people. But if you look at the chart right now, the chart itself is a big onboarding tool and we're in a bear market. A lot of things are still going down. It's very hard to onboard in a bear market anyways. Like you talked, like I, I'm sure most people that you and I could bring up here would say, because Bitcoin's not going up, Ethereum's not going up and our ecosystem's not going up right now. Most people that even try to talk to you about crypto, most people are just like, yeah, but it's still going down. And it's like, ah, it's just like, no, right. It's all, it's no's from people right now. So, you know, maybe this is the best time actually to have this happen when onboarding is the most difficult and we can work through all these issues, figure out the best way to get this done in a streamlined, easy way. So onboarding when the bull run comes, which it could be longer than we expect still, you know, who knows? We're expecting that obviously we know the Bitcoin having in April, but who knows it could take longer. And so, I'm just really happy that you're involved with this and you know, you're making tools and that this conversation is just being had. And yeah. so thank you for that. Of course, of course. I mean, that's what, again, have utility. That's what I, that's what I started streaming for. That's what I, apparently I write websites now, whatever, like, uh, that, like anything to help us go forward. And, and you're totally right that, um, yeah, this is not onboarding right now matters much less, which is again the genius of a lot of stuff RH does. Everyone's like, where's single size staking? Where's the new features? Where are limit orders? Where are all this stuff? For me, my personal opinion is I don't care if they happen in 2023. I like or do we need we need like these we need these like little tiny jolts that, that take us up 20% on Pulse X when the new features come out in a in a in a not up only market, or do we want to wait till an up only market where big brain uh, or whoever's out there uh, making these, uh, who, who's making updates and impulse X uh, uh, changes, pushes out the updates and things go up 200%, 2000%. Like it, it's obvious that this stuff is not needed right now. This is the time to get through all the junk. Uh, this is the time to decentralize things. This is a time to, for onboarding to suck until it doesn't suck anymore. And like I said, I, I think the changes I talked about, I mean, I don't know why they wouldn't happen over time. I mean, clearly this is just the first rollout of you know uh putting all the links there and making sure everyone has the information get everyone used to this type of a de decentralized apps and stuff um so I, I totally think it'll be better uh in the future but